Hello and welcome to the CSCART video tutorials. My name is Sergey, and today we continue to explore the layouts of CSCART. Previously we spoke about basic layout settings and created a unique layout page to demonstrate the abilities of the layout editor. Now I would like to tell you more about grids in the layouts. Let's roll! To demonstrate to you how the grids work, I'm gonna create a new page. Add layout page. I want to create a unique page for my for one of my categories. For example, for the sportswear, I'm going to choose view categories dispatch. Uh, dispatch creates a connection between the core and the visual representation of a page. Then the name of the new tab and the page title. Sport. Okay. I'm gonna skip all other steps. I'll create. Voila, now I have an empty page. First of all, we need to add the grids. Mm, but before adding the grids, I would like uh, to tell you about these gray columns. Uh, there are 16 of them, and they determine the width of a page. And grids visually divide the page into different parts by width and by height. Also, they serve as containers for the blocks. Uh, let me show you. Well, add grid. The width of the grid uh, is estimated in the columns from 1 to 16. I'm going to create the biggest 16. Uh, that's not important now. Create. Yes. Okay, I've got a big grid. You can add a grid inside the grid. That's what you can do about the grids. Just like this. Add grid. Like small one. Four. Now I'm going to add another one. 14. Well, as you can see, 4 and 14 make 18 altogether, and that's uh, more than 16. Let me show you what will happen in that case. Yes, that's what happens. One will be located right after another. You can freely move them around just like this. You can add more grids. Just like this. And one more. These grids uh, might be used to control the space on the page. What else can be done here? I don't know. We can yeah, create a grid inside the grid once again. Or we can create a very small grid and put it here. No problem. After creating all these grids and um, dividing your page, you can starting to add blocks inside it. Yeah, add grid, add block, no problem. You can change their size uh, in the real time, just like this. Yeah, that's it. That's all about grids for now. Uh, in the next video, I will be filling them with the blocks and we will continue to build up our page. For now, it looks like this. The blank space, because we edit only the grids without any content inside them. That's it about the grids for now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CISCART video tutorials.